What's up guys, it's Preets coming back to you with a brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today we are back with the Eden Streak going for win number 26 in a row. So without further ado, let's get right into the episode, get some gaming going. And that was like the, the original intro. I was going, I was not doing the like the OG intro for a second, but today we are gaming. We are doing the OG intro. Did I say number 26 or number 25? No matter what, it's number 26. So let's get right into it. Man, today was weird. Also, ooh, starting off with false PhD is actually kind of awesome. That's a big, we're gonna get lots of damage and sharp straw is amazing. Okay, easiest win of my life. Anyway, today's been a weird day. Um, last night I decided to go to sleep and I was in bed by like 11.30 and was probably asleep before 12. And so I was I was going to try to wake up at like eight or nine today. I, I was I was like, okay, I want to wake up at eight, but I feel like nine's a more realistic time. I need to get some sleep today because like my sleep's not been the best. Um, but then I woke up this morning at eight when my alarm went off, and I decided I was like, okay, well I'm not gonna go to sleep right or I'm not gonna wake up right now. I'm gonna wake up at nine. So I, my alarm goes off at nine. I get I wake back up. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna sleep in. I'm gonna see how long I sleep. So then I turn my alarm off. Go back to sleep in. I wake up at 11. I'm like, wow, okay, 11's pretty late. That's kind of weird. So then I go upstairs, make myself a peanut butter sandwich, and I'm just like, I'm gonna eat this like as lunch, and then I'll go on with my day after like watching some more anime to start off my my morning. So then I go, I come back downstairs, I eat my sandwich, and I get back in bed to like watch some anime for a little bit. I was watching some more One Piece, and all then all of a sudden I'm like you know what? I'm gonna I might just close my eyes for a second I feel a little tired I ended up sleeping for another for another like three hours I woke back up at 3 p.m. I don't know what that was I don't know why I slept that long but I'm like I'm glad I got that sleep I'm gonna go to sleep at a good time tonight and I'm gonna be well rested for streaming today aka tomorrow I mean tomorrow for me for today for you guys so I will be streaming so everybody knows today will or today I'm gonna say today for for tomorrow for me but today for you guys there will be a stream so watch out for that but yeah i just got some crazy sleep i, I guess i really need to some sleep and i got it so heck yeah getting good sleep is always fun to get i feel i, I feel really good i feel like i've been a little bit not I, I feel like i've not gotten enough rest recently because i was sick for a few days and so i think i was getting a good enough amount of sleep but my body still needed like more sleep because I was sick and I was it that just made it so I just was extra tired and I wasn't getting enough sleep for that. I don't know. I don't know how the body works exactly. But it was it was worthwhile. Sleeping in late and sleeping for like 14 hours. Wait, how many hours? I guess it was closer to like yeah, about 14 or 15 hours I slept. Insane. That's actual insanity. It was worth it. It was good. It was a good time. I love sleep. The thing is I don't like going to sleep exactly like trying to like go to sleep and be, be decisive I'm going to sleep right now that's hard for me I'm usually on my phone for too long or like watching Netflix for too long I'm trying to get better okay you know what I want this pill oh wow I did not know I could go <laughs> oh wow I did not know I could go between these those poops that's surprising I also made a, a post on the community tab asking if people wanted me to delay the stream. That way I could, the 20, the 20k 20 celebration 12 hour stream thing. I asked if they wanted me to postpone that so I could do the chip review on stream. Or if they wanted me to do the chip review at a different time. Because if you guys don't remember, there's a big chip debate. Where Hayne was saying that Pringles are the best, I was saying Doritos are the best. And so I'm like, I'm going to figure out what the best chip is. So I got all the chips I could get off of like in the US that I wouldn't have to spend a dumb amount of money to get and they wouldn't take like, like a month to get to me. So they'll all be getting here about the end of the month. I know I said it won't take a month to get here, but there's some that might take a while. Other stuff would have been like really expensive and would have taken a month to get here. So I'm like, no to that. I'm like, if I can spend $10 on a bag of chips that's like foreign to me and I can get it in a reasonable amount of time, that's fine. But spending like 30 bucks on a bag of chips off of eBay, that sounds really suspicious. So I didn't do it. I think it was it made sense not to do it. But yeah, so I, I feel like no matter what, what's gonna happen is I'm probably going to do the 20k live stream as soon as the other stuff I ordered gets in. And I ordered some really stupid stuff because I said I was gonna do some things uh, on the stream. I said whatever the top community top comment on the one community post was, a different one. I'm mentioning a lot of community posts. I said whatever the top comment was was gonna be the uh, sub goal. 
And so there's going to be some Isaac cosplay, maybe some Tainted Eden makeup stuff. I've been talking about this on the Eden streak, so it's not like it matters if I talk about it. But there's going to be a bunch of fun stuff. I'm excited. I like doing the longer streams, but I haven't done one in a while. Just because I've not had a reason to exactly. And I've just been on the... I've either been on the break or on the grind. There's only two two versions of me. Break or grind, Preets. And honestly, our damage isn't even that high right now. I don't know where we got all this money from. In the world? I didn't even realize we had 50 cents. That's insane. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is first we buy the pill. Who needs speed when you can have damage? Uh, we'll buy the baggie. And I do want speed at some point again. But I don't think we need speed right now. I think we're pretty good. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna donate as much money as I can. I'm gonna donate down to 10. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. And we'll keep moving. I might, I think I'm gonna go into the devil deal just to check out what it is, but I'm probably not gonna take the devil deal. I think taking devil deals might not be worth it. And you might be like, why would you go in the devil deal and not take it? I'm putting it in my mind that I'm not gonna take it. But if there's like brimstone, mom's knife, or something crazy in there, I'm gonna take it. If it's not something crazy, it's not worth it. So that's that's why I'm saying I'm probably not gonna take it. You gotta you gotta mentally prepare yourself for what you're gonna do. Because if I said I'm gonna go in there, I'd feel too tempted to take any bad item in there. But I need to make sure that I only take the best items. Because there could always be better in the angel deal sometime. There could just be better items later, where I, which I couldn't get if I spent my health. And look at that. We gotta speed up. We're all good. And see? None of this is worth it. None of it. I kinda wish I had had a guaranteed angel deal, but we didn't know it was gonna be in there, so it's worth it. That's final. That's that's all I'm gonna say. So far we have good items. I do want to try to find a blood donation machine. That way I can get some soul hearts for freebies out of it. Because we do have Gimpy. The chance of us getting a soul heart isn't that good. But it's good enough that if we use a blood donation machine, we should get a, at least a soul heart, I feel like. Or we can find enough health that we can use it multiple times on the floor and just see if we can get any sort of uh, soul hearts from it. But yeah, I don't know. Today was a weird day. I woke up late, then I then I didn't really want to... I already decided that I wasn't going to stream today, which I'm glad I said that because I slept till like 3 p.m. And when I say I went to sleep at 12, I went to sleep at 12. I, I was out. I was dead asleep. I took my sleeping medication, which I, I took the proper amount. I didn't take too much or anything. I didn't sleep because of that. I was just tired. But it was, it was beautiful. Then I came upstairs. I was hanging out with my family. And just, we were just sitting around talking. Ooh. Now that's exciting. That's kind of exciting. We might die for this. But then we're like, you know what? We want to start the Harry Potter marathon we were talking about. Because we watched the uh, HBO Harry Potter documentary that they just released. And we're like, we need to re-watch all those movies. So we watched the first movie today. Now I I've, apparently have not seen the first movie in a long time. It's kind of crazy. I thought that I'd seen it, like, kind of recently. Apparently not. It's such a good movie. It is one of the... One of the most... Like, it, it makes me have feelings that I forgot I had. It just, it was just a beautiful time. All those movies are so good. It's just so weird. Watching the first movie, the first time I watched the first Harry Potter movie, I want to say I was probably about three or four. I was pretty young when I first watched it. And watching at that age, Harry Potter, like all, like Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert, um, Emma Watson, they all seem so much older than they are. Like, they're, they are really young. They're like, I think her um, Emma Watson in the movies was maybe nine or something. Because she's three years younger than every, all, like, the main actors. So, it's really weird watching it back and realizing how just young they are. And I have seen these movies, like, since I was a kid. I've seen them multiple times. But I just don't really pay attention that much every time I watch it. Like, have been watching them just because they're usually on TV in the background. So, I, I mean, I've seen it tens, tens of lots of times. I'm not opening that. But just whenever you're like really paying attention and after watching the documentary it was just like dang that's crazy like they're really really young and you can like see them grow up in the movie because they're at such an age where you can like see that they're like growing as they're filming the movie it was crazy i'm excited to see all the other ones because there's some that are so beautiful and on if you guys do remember i was talking about that at the end of a couple em episodes of that my i don't even know what word i was trying to say i was saying at the end of a episode the other day where I was talking about the idea of certain scenes in movies being crunchy. And I nobody really said anything in the comments, which made me sad. 
But the the cake scene in Her the first Harry Potter movie is crunchy. That's one of those scenes that like get, like makes gives me like a feeling. It's like so nostalgic that like it it like I it just has feelings when I think about it. Not when I watch it again, but just like when I think about it. And look at her eyes. Our eyes are bugging out. We got those rave eyes. That's lame. You know what? I'm just gonna pop this a bunch of times. Kind of worth it. Not really. That does give us a black. I probably should have left that on the ground. If we get a floor that has a bunch of pills that give us black hearts, I will turn into Lazarus. I think it's worthwhile turning into Lazarus. But not yet. I feel like we don't have enough guaranteed safety to do it. And our stats, our stats are good. They're going to be really good when we turn into um, Lazarus Risen. But our health is going to be really bad. So I'm going to just be careful. Please, I am wizard. Can you go away? Okay, good. There is a soul heart in here. What pill? I want to see what pill this is. Please. Good. Okay, we're going to pick this pill up. It is an experimental pill. Which gave us an HP down. Which did give us a damage up, so it was kind of worth it. Because no matter what, at some point we are going to sacrifice our lives for this. Okay, good. Okay, so we have two soul hearts. I think I'm good to sacrifice. Yeah, we're good to sacrifice. I'm just going to do this. Ooh, okay. Oh, I did not mean to pick that up. Boo. And we're going to get a bunch of soul hearts whenever we are dying, doing something to die. So let's try this out. Okay, tap, 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 tap. Nice. Tap. And you might be wondering why I'm getting more health. It's just because I want to make sure I get as many soul hearts as I can from doing this. So we'll have four soul hearts, which is actually really good. There we go. We come back to life. And look at those stats. They're actually very good. Our tier rate is back up. So we have 3.5 tier rate. Our movement speed is actually good. Yeah, we're actually fine. Like, look at that. All good. Uh, anything else I need? I don't think there is anything else. I am going to destroy this fire and destroy this mushroom because we have the bombs to do so. We might as well check in here. As I said, I, I've said this before. It's always worthwhile to check in here because there can be tinted rocks. And as you see, there is a super tinted rock right there. If you didn't see it, if you rewind the episode a little bit, you can see that there was a tiny little cross at the bottom left of the rock. And you might see other rocks that look like they have the little crosses, like this rock right here. It looks like there's a cross on the top, but it's not the same cross that you see on the, the super tinted rocks. It's only five pixels or six pixels that make up the little cross. So it's, it's a little harder to see. So if, if the cross is apparent to you, it's usually not the real super tinted rock. And we're getting some bad, bad active items. Interesting. So that only gave us a damage up for that, like, few seconds. But look at our damage. This is actually pretty insane. I really do like uh, False PhD. False PhD, even though it is a, a lot of stat downs to get your damage, there's not really many stat downs that'll give you that affect you too much. Like, a tears down, yeah, that's not fun to, d to get. But a range down, I really don't care about range. I, I usually get pretty close to enemies when I shoot them to go faster, so it doesn't really matter too much. It could be bad for newer players, but I think it's I think it's worth it to use all the range downs. Because damage, at the end of the day, is the most one of the most important things. And people always ask me if I would rather have a high tier rate or a high damage run. My answer is usually high tier rate, but really either is fine. Like, there's not really a difference between the two. Like, a high DPS run is all I want. Whether that's having really high damage and low tier rate, or having really high tier rate and low damage. As, as long as the DPS is high, I'm, I'm liking it. But I will say, some, there is something about, like, one-shotting a lot of enemies that's satisfying. But it's also satisfying to do a lot of damage fast with, like, high tier rate. So, they both have their their pros and cons I mean they're both great no matter what like high DPS is awesome and we don't have that much money hopefully we can get an angel deal I mean we could take a devil deal I was hoping that we'd get a devil deal on that last floor so we can get rid of our red heart and like not exactly lose it but that was not in our cards cards okay speed down we might as well we have a good amount of speed right now and a range down, might as well. As I said, I don't really care about range. Look at that. We're almost at 12 damage. And one thing you can do to kind of make your range a little longer is if you run forwards and shoot, your tears actually go further. So, like, watch this. See how it's going to the middle of the room? I know. So, okay. Watch me shoot right here. You can see that goes to, like, the edge of this rock. If I run forwards to this spot and shoot, 
it goes like all the way across the room. So there is like momentum in this game. So you don't really need too much range because if you run forwards and run to the sides, you can increase your momentum a lot in different directions. So keep that in mind. There's a lot that goes into aiming in this game that you don't really like. That's honestly subconscious, but it's useful to know. That way you can make it subconscious for yourself. That's like, if you ever watch, I don't, like anybody who's like good at the gameplay, I mean, I maybe I'm not the best at this game, but people who are really good at the game, no matter who you're watching, if they're decent, they'll always be moving. Because if I, am I going in a circle, shooting to a side, I can make the tiers go in, in a diagonal direction. If I'm running forwards, I can make it go further. If you're running back, I don't think it makes it go any less further. I don't know. But I'm not gonna take a tier eight down pill. Because we're trying to keep our DPS, not, we're trying to increase our DPS and not lose any. Trading tier rate for damage, I don't think it's worth it. So yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow this up. I've said this, I said this last episode, I feel like it's always worth it to blow up the donation machine. Like try to donate a little bit to it early on. But when you blow it up, you almost guarantee that you're gonna get a reroll in your shop. And rerolls in shops are like extremely, extremely good. You get a, you get a reroll in a shop. That means you can get, if you have a lot of money, you can get like three items sometimes. You can also get membership card easy. You can get, um, what else can you get? Blowing hourglass is what I was thinking of. Lots of good stuff. Oh man, I forgot that sacrificing would have been insanely OP to turn into Lazarus. Sadly, there wasn't a sacrifice on the last floor, but I think last floor was the right time to do it, no matter what. Okay, secret room? I feel like the secret room is right here. Yep. Let's go. I, I was very scared for a second. It looked like we didn't have any way to get over here. But Keeper Sack gives us a stat increase. Oh my gosh. Keeper Sack gives us a stat increase for every item we buy. So what that means is we get a lot of free stats just from buying items. So we pop this, pick up this. Look at that. 0.44 damage. Insane. Keeper Sack is one of the... One of my favorite items because it kind of gives you a reason to buy some of those shop items you would never buy. And so it gives you more of a reason to be strategic with your money. Not that you have to be strategic, but like you want to look for money, you want to spend your money. You don't want to end the run with 99 cents ever when you have Keeper Sack. If you end the run with Keeper Sack with 99 cents, that either means that you've got a lot of money after you found your last shop. It either means... I don't know if I said that right. It either means you got too much, a lot of money after you found your last shop or you didn't spend enough. And right there, you saw those three coins drop. The reason why those dropped was because we had deep pockets. If there is no drop in that room, in a room, whenever you have deep pockets, it'll drop you three coins. So like usually, like there's like a bomb that drops, a key that drops. No drop will give you three coins instead of no drop, which is awesome. People told me that on stream, so I can't take credit for that. But it's 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 crazy good. And we're gonna take Act of Contrition because one, we need tier rate. And two, taking Act of Contrition means that we can actually take Devil Deals and we can still get Angel Deals. So, we get to play a little bit. We get to have a little bit of fun. We can do a little bit more on this run. I've never actually used Act of Contrition to get Angel Deals and Devil Deals, but I hope I can right now. Okay, we should be good on this floor. Next floor, we're shooting to go straight to the shop. We're shooting to just get as many stats as we can. And look at that. Act of Contrition also gives you uh, Eternal Heart, it seems. Weird. I like that. But geez, yeah, we're going to have a lot of damage at the end of this run. BD1P posted today on his community post tab that he had a run that had 74 damage, and apparently it doesn't have... I think it doesn't have Magic Mush, it doesn't have Crown of Light, it doesn't have, like, Rock Bottom, and it's 78 damage with 12 tier 8. I'm trying to think of what can do that for you. I've been trying to think about that. Not really too hard because I feel like it might be. I think all it is is probably Star of Bethlehem. Star of Bethlehem is insane. Star of Bethlehem just makes it so you get crazy damage and crazy tier rate. But all it said on the screen is that his damage was doubled. Wherever, whatever he was doing it was double damage, but not double tier rate. And he had 12 tier rate, 74 damage. So his tier rate was already at 12 tier rate. So I don't know how he did that. I mean, it's probably almond milk. I guess that has to be almond milk. I don't know. I think the only thing that gives you that much tier rate is either almond milk or soy milk. And he said it wasn't soy milk. Ooh, okay. Tech point five is going to be nasty. We already do a lot of damage, but this penetrative damage we get from this, or this like pseudo penetrative damage, is huge. 
Nice. See? Big stats. We love free stats. And look at that. We're already at 13 damage. This is actually like disgusting. I know I'm not using I'm not using Sharp Straw enough. I just forget to use it. I do want to go to Hush, because Hush with Sharp Straw is a fun time. But I do need good health to do that. Or I'd prefer good health to do that. So real quick, I am gonna go to the Ooh. I'm gonna go back and get the secret room. Well, I forgot I have petrified poop. I'm like, what the heck? These poops are insane. I'm gonna go to the secret room. It's honestly not really worthwhile, especially if you don't have that many bombs to go to the super secret room. All the super secret room usually has is either health or some sort of arcade machine. So if, you, if that's something you want, go do, knock yourself out. If it's not something you want, don't do it. Okay, come on, game. Come on, game. I've not seen Magic Mush in 47 years to this day. I swear, it's been so long. The game just doesn't want to give it to me anymore. Thank you, tech. And I am full clearing right now, so I can get another bomb. I need another bomb to make sure I can get Magic Mush. I'm probably not going to get Magic Mush, no matter what. But the idea that I could get Magic Mush that is carrying me through this game. Okay, yeah. Our speed is not that good. That was my fault for getting hit right there. It wasn't really my speed's fault, but still. My speed's not that good. Okay, no bombs. This is like a no bomb September or January, whatever month we're in. Seems like it. Ooh, but we got a lucky penny. Hmm. Ooh, okay, we have a lot of health. I could donate to the blood or the, the beggar. Where are you, beggar? There you are. Ooh, okay, yeah, I forgot. I need to be donating. I said this before. I wish we could find a blood donation machine, and I found one and just didn't use it. The blood donation machines, when you whenever you have gimpy are so good and what the heck it said there's a heart in there oh it's in the mini boss fight okay we'll come back in a second there's two hearts over here we're gonna have to do some hiking i know i'm taking forever but it's because i love this game you know i want to i want to min max as much as i can okay what are you x lax okay why do we keep getting x lax of all things to get x lax is probably one of my least favorite and honestly if this I don't know I said honestly. I wish this beggar would give us a bomb. I think the beggar can give us a bomb. Right? Maybe? Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go see. We'll go see if we'll pay out. This is going to be what? The eighth payment we're about to do? We've already done seven, I think, at this point. So he should pay out on this one. Nope, not on this one. He pays out every three after his per first payout, I'm pretty sure. And luck down, honestly, not the worst thing. I actually love getting luck downs. Might sound weird, but luck downs, it, it, it like doesn't affect you. Oh my gosh, what is this room? Rarest room in the game? This so I was trying to explain. This. I think I explained this yesterday. But the idea of like different floor outs being rare is that there are very rare and rare layouts. And so this right here is an example of a rare layout, not a very rare one. You'll see that more often. But there are those very rare ones that whenever you find them, that's like actually pretty insane. And look at that. E free money? We love it. Okay, nice. I'm surprised he has not paid out yet. It's kind of weird. It's a little unsettling. But I'm going to come up here. I do have another bomb, which is what I wanted. But I want to go see if I can get some more health. More health. I don't need that. I'm probably going to use the strength card in a second to... Give me more health so I can donate more health easily. Thank you. All the money. We're just going to be swimming in money this this game. And I know you guys might be wondering why I didn't go into the super secret room. I only have one bomb, guys. Only one bomb. I only have one bomb, guys. I have to use my one bomb here, though. Why? Because it's it's a this is, it's too fun not to. Ooh, and then we got the lover's card. That's actually really good. Oh, my gosh. That was really curving. Oh, okay. Not what I wanted to see. Not what I wanted to see. These are... I'm getting the most annoying enemies. Anything that has homing in this game? Not fun. What are you again? x -Lax? Speed down? Yeah, that's fine. We have enough... We're getting, like, enough damage at this point where I think speed down is not the worst thing in the world. Okay. That's what we're going to do. We're going to... One. Two. Nice. Get all the money. Three, four, pop this, one, 
not exactly what I wanted. Wait, that does drop a pill, doesn't it? Yep, it does. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it's fine. And our range is atrocious, but our tech, our little tech damage is pretty insane. But I think the technology gets our full damage, if I'm not mistaken. But real quick, we're going to buy this sack. We get free bombs. We get free stats. So, I can't complain. Actually, our speed is actually fine now. Our range... Our range, on the other hand, is not that good. I do want to get our range back up, but I will always sacrifice range for damage. Always. And forever. Here we go. And let's go to the Tinted Rock real quick and just waste our last bomb. I know I spent like four, four minutes on this last part of the floor, but I think it was worth it. You know? I feel pretty confident. We got a, a one item that gave us a big speed increase. We immediately got a speed down from the pill it gave us. Actually, was it that? I don't know what it gave us to speed down. But it was worth it. It really was. Could we still make it to Hush is the question. I think we can make it to Hush. Honestly, with the damage I have, if I speed run this, which I'm going to try to do, I think we can make it. Get out of here. Like, look at that damage. Do you see why I risk all my range for this damage? It adds up. It really does. And look at that. We're at max tier rate, 14 damage. We're looking beautiful. It's great. We like to see it. And hopefully we can find the boss fight very quickly. Usually you want to follow the secret rooms to get to the boss fight. And so if the two secret rooms are next to each other, just navigate away. The only issue is the se the item room might not be on the way. Ooh. Okay, well, we're not going back through those rooms ever. Can't make myself do that. I honestly hate those rooms. Those rooms, I always get hit on. There is a way, a pretty easy way not to get hit, but it takes time and effort. I don't have that. I don't have time for effort. Okay, there's our shop at least. We have so much money to spend. Oh, man. And see, now that we might get a reroll machine right here. See? Free reroll machine. We buy the Bible. We buy the pill. It gives us a free black heart, which I think is worth it. We get all of this. And then we... I'm just going to bomb this, I think. Nice. We get BOGO bombs, we use the Bible, we buy the battery, we buy the soul heart, we buy the sack, and look at that. See? It was worthwhile. Our range is actually a lot better. We have a lot of bombs, and we have no money. Because this was our last shop, so, I mean, it was worthwhile. We did just get that. That's too bad, you know? There's nothing else to buy in there. Okay. You know what? I think I might just skip this item room. I don't think I don't think I'm gonna make the hush. I take it back. I'm gonna go to the super secret room and maybe try to find the item room. Even though item room is probably yeah, the item room is definitely across that stupid spike room. I could use the Bible to fly across it real quick. You know that's what I'm gonna do. That's what you use the Bible for. Trust me. I know. Okay, so we take this. We go into the secret room. I did. I'm so bad at bombing those secret rooms. I'm pretty surprised I just got that. That's awesome. I love filigree feather. You guys probably know that if you guys saw my how I got every angel item. Ooh, and Jupiter. I actually like Jupiter. But it is actually one of the most top tier. I think it's the most top tier trinket in the game. It gets you the most for what it is. Like, two damage from curved horn? Sure, that's good. But... The amount of things that filigree feather can get you is what makes it so good. So this is what we do. Ready? So we fly. We go here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we still got hurt. So in the end, that wasn't worth it. But uh, we might get it. What if we get like a crazy item right here? We also, I don't know how we got that. Was that a 1% planetarium or did I skip a item? Did I skip an item room at one point? I don't think I did. On the way back, I'm going to buy some red heart health. That way I can get some more stats. You know what? Not the worst. Not the worst thing ever. Not the best either. But definitely not the worst. So what we do is we trick it. We trick it. Okay, I tricked it the wrong way. You're supposed to you're supposed to trick the far left block to go to the side before you go over. I don't know. I don't know how any of this works, but we will take this. Look at that. 17 damage. That's nice. And let's hope for an angel deal, please. We are insane. The way you have to use Jupiter is you do have to stand still a lot. That way you can actually get the gas. I feel like that's one thing people don't do. Is they don't try to get 
Jupiter to actually work correctly. They just they just move around and never stop moving. If you stop for a second and recharge your gas, the de gas does a lot of damage. It really does. And we are not taking this. I just came in here because it would be a shame not to. Imagine. I think you should be able to blow up the, the Devil Deal statues. I think that would be cool. If you had Filigree Feather, if you could get like a free Angel item. I think it would make sense if you got a free Angel item for some reason for killing the Devil. Just have in the Devil Deal. I think that would make sense, you know? Ooh, it, and what if it also turned... Oh, that'd be cool. If it also turned the Devil Deal into Angel items that you could take for hearts. That'd be nice. Okay. Okay, let's just fall... Ooh, wait, real quick. I'm gonna go to the Curse Room. Curse Rooms can always have fun stuff in them, so might as well go in here for freebies. Take that. Worthwhile. Look at this. Very worthwhile. Speed down, I don't care. Speed down, I don't care. External pill, kind of care, but still not bad. That's a that's free black heart. I know we already had a black heart, but that's free black heart no matter what. Okay, our speed's not awful. For having 18 damage, we don't need speed. Or if we have 18 damage, we don't need speed. Speed is irrelevant at this point. I wish I could grab that, but I don't have a way to fly. If I can get the hangman card somehow, imagine, maybe. Opening that and maybe getting like a really like low quality item. Kind of could be cool. Right? Don't you think so, game? Nope, just health. We'll never get anything other than just health. I could bomb it out of the way if I got a bomb. But I think I need bombs. Because I need one for the angel deal. So I better keep at least one bomb on me. If I don't keep a bomb on me, I'm going to be the, uh, the laughing stock of 8th grade. Bringing that joke back. That's a good one. I say monotonely. I'm not trying to be monotone. It's just I, I'm so focused on the game. That just happens. Sometimes you just are monotone. It's just my brain has to... My brain's in full force. It's just focusing on this game. It's kind of weird. You would... Whenever... If you guys... If any of you guys have ADHD and take Adderall or take any sort of... That kind of medication that helps you focus. For me, it like... It did help me focus. That's not the point I was trying to make. For anybody who took that medication, it some people think that it makes you like focus like crazy, like much better, but it doesn't make you focus better. It helps you actually not focus better because the issue with ADHD is that you're really good at like hyper focusing on one thing. And so it lets you like not hyper focus on one thing, which is the issue. So like if you like hear a sound in the background, like while you're in class with ADHD, you just immediately only focus on that sound. And that's why you can't pay attention. It's not because you're not, you can't pay attention. It's because you can only pay attention to one thing at a time, really. You're really good at hyper-focusing on one thing. You're not good at, like, splitting your focus and, like, not letting something take all your attention. So it's weird. Whenever you are whenever you are on, like, whenever you are on Adderall or Ritalin or any of that, you actually have a better time not focusing on one thing. It's so, like right now, I honestly feel like I, I stopped taking Adderall a while ago. Just I kind of felt like a zombie taking it. But, like, I can tell that I'm having a harder time speaking and playing sometimes. And so I feel like that's why I sound monotone a lot of the time. It's because I'm too busy, like, trying to focus on the game. And so I can't, like, put effort into what I'm saying. I mean, I'm putting effort into what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. You know? Never know what I'm saying. But I'm going to skip. You know what? We're going to do this. Nice. Because I want to open this up since we do have a gold key. Nice. We didn't even need that, but hey. Now our tier rate is so high that if we use a tier rate down pill, we'll still have five tier rate, which is pretty cool. You should keep that in mind. If you ever grab a tier rate item, whenever you are above five, or whenever you're at five tier rate, you actually do go above it technically, but you don't actually get stats above it. So if you take a tier's down pill, after you, after you take an item that puts you above five tier rate, you won't go below 5.0, at least for like one pill. And look at us. We get Wafer, which is awesome. I love Wafer. And we get to fight the angel and get... Okay, I'm stupid. And we get to get an item. Ooh, Blood of the Martyr. Honestly, not my... I was hoping for something crazier, but, you know, that's that's fine. We can't be too picky. Next floor. Oh. My neck. Okay, we're just going to go... I, I feel like it's going to actually be this direction, which it's not... But I do get to go to the arcade. And we could get a couple soul hearts right here. 
We're, okay, nice. We're also going to try to get soul hearts from donating to the blood donation machine. As I said at the beginning, since we have Gimpy, blood donation machines, top tier. I just hate the arcade machines because they take so long. Like, just standing here is such a boring thing. I just look into your guys' eyes. Hey, guys. How you guys doing today? You guys doing good? Welcome to Preet's News. The news with Preet's. But this is worth it. We get money. And we could get a soul heart. I'm just kidding. We can't get soul hearts. What am I talking about? But yeah, now that we have Wafer, I'm pretty confident with everything that's happened. I feel like I'm just going to win game at this point. I kind of wish I could go to Mega Stand, but I do want to get the double angel items, and I don't think it's necessary to go to Mega Stand, so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a boring old regular run. Not exactly boring, but it's not gonna be the most exciting ever. We're gonna try to make it as exciting as we can. You know, I'm gonna see how how good I can get this run to be. That's the excitement we're looking for. We're not looking for excitement by fighting hard bosses. We're looking for the excitement of good enemies. Wait, what? Of good items, not enemies. One in the world. I think that like other people have talked about this before, but there's actually a Discord that has like a decent amount of like the second gen Isaac YouTubers. I know I've talked about this before, but the uh, so somebody was like they were talking about it today. A few of them. And I think it was like Turtle Melon. I can't remember like Neo Nami. They were talking about it, and they were saying they would rather have like the fun the way they have fun in the game is by getting good items not by having like difficult runs while some people like having difficult runs and not really getting good items they prefer to like overcome a hard run than to just like destroy a regular run where you just beat beat the game and then are like well okay now all i have to do is just restart there's nothing else i can do <laughs> this is the furthest i can go which i kind of agree with but i do like getting op i think getting op is more satisfying to me but it's nice to have a bad run that gets OP. I think those are my favorite runs to have. Runs like the 2020 Godhead Ian's Blessing run that I had that one time, that was super fun. Like it is fun also starting with super OP items from the, from the beginning and just going crazy and seeing how like fast you can do, beat the run. But like it's not exactly satisfying. You're, the whole time you're like, okay, I know I can already win this. Let's just get this run over with so we can go to the next run. Look at that. And this one right here is like, it's kind of a one run. I'm not really too worried. And now I don't need filigree feather, but we killed, we could, we could still get the Joker card, which means that we could still get angel deals technically. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give away filigree feather too quickly because we don't have anything to replace it. If we find a really good trinket, I'll replace it. Even if we, if we don't find a good trinket and we find a different trinket, I'm still not replacing it with that trinket. So that's my plan. Hello, Monstro 2. Do you like my 12 damage? 12 damage. I am I dyslexic? What's wrong with me? I have 18.82 damage. Somebody say a interesting fact of something that happened in 1882. Go. I want to read it. I'm trying to think. What was 1882? I feel like 1882 was around the time or the like the it was leading up to the Civil War, I believe, right? Civil War happened in 1914, I believe. No. No. Wait, was it 19 No, it was like 1965. That was like the end after the Civil War, wasn't it? I don't know why, but I always thought the American Civil War was was in like 1914, which was World War 1, I'm pretty sure. So 1882. I I got nothing. I have no clue what could have been invented then. But we do get a black heart. Ooh, ooh. ooh nice. I love gold chests. So much. Jeez. Okay. Well, didn't want to take damage right there, but that's fine. Don't mind. Just going to go cry myself to sleep tonight, but that's fine. Jeez. Look at that damage. Let's get this secret room. And as I said, there's probably just going to be health in here. Oh. This is the good type of health, though. So you know what? This actually is worthwhile. And look at this. Ready? What I said? We're not going to go below 5.0. See? Didn't go below 5.0. That's the beauty of like knowing how stats work. Is you know when you can take pills like a tier 8 down pill to get a damage up. So there is a reason to take tier 8 items whenever you have 5 tier 8 already. But it's usually you don't need to. Uh, in my case, it's kind of like we knew that I would most likely get another tier 8 down pill at some point. And also I didn't like have a choice. It was just we got a tier 8 up item so I took the tier 8 up item. So yeah. 
And somebody was saying that they were like, you had the you had the x-ray goggles and you still were blowing up for secret rooms. Listen, I was just being thorough. I was making sure the secret room wasn't somewhere else. I was making I was checking the game. I'm a game checker. Ooh, look at me. Look at me. Ooh. I find the Isaac fight, I've said this, to be harder than the blue baby fight, but still, it honestly the Isaac fight is easier than like any of the corpse bosses or any of the even even like the mausoleum bosses and Gehenna bosses, they're they're much harder. Isaac is just pretty easy. I think the only fight that starts to get hard is Megastan. And what makes game like fights harder in this game is just them taking longer. You're more likely to get hit by random stuff if, the, if it takes longer. That's like any fight. If you have a bad run, I feel like you almost take more damage because things take so long. Look at us. Okay, you know what? I do need to be a little careful though. I do now realize one simple mistake. We do have eye in the back of our head, which could be deadly. We have a whole lot. We have a decent amount of luck. That's not good. Okay. Oh, actually, we have spectral tears, so we're fine. We can't actually hit the wall behind us, I don't think. Nice. I was scared that something was going to hit behind me. Yeah, we're just going to actually, like, stomp this entire run. This is going to be too easy. Too easy. Yeah, we're just going to go this way for about 27 miles. And we should get to the boss fight. It should be bottom right. That's my guess. Oh my gosh. We're wrecking house. Oh, it could still be bottom right. Sometimes they make you like twist and turn all around the entire map. It's weird. It's uncomfy. Is this, is this gonna go all the way up and then to the right? Actually, it's probably still down to the right. It's going, I'm probably going the wrong way. Yeah, I'm definitely going the wrong way. Ooh, I forgot that tech also has the explosive effect once you, when, when I'm using it. Interesting. Every time the tech takes some damage, it explodes. I was wondering why there's so many explosions. I was like, am I really shooting that fast? Kind of, but not really. You know what? We can get another speed down. And you know what? I don't want another speed down. We don't even need more damage. We're pretty good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, eye in the back of our head. Honestly, eye in the back of your head is never really a good item. Like, it can be fun if you have tractor beam, but that's like the only situation and you usually don't need tears behind you so I honestly would recommend don't take eye in the back of your head unless you like really just want it because who knows if you get Ipecac it could be a bad item to get if you get I mean there's not there's not really any other items that are bad with it but it's not really a good item no matter what I'm trying to think of any other item that's bad with oh another item is uh any of the fetuses I mean or really just doctor fetus if you get doctor fetus it's like a you lose the run you shoot way too many bombs and bombs just hit the wall behind you, you there's no, never a safe spot to go it's horrifying okay if only we had some bomb reductions one day one day I want to get soy milk doctor fetus and host hat I don't know if I've had that before, but if I could get that one day and Pyromaniac, imagine. Or just Pyromaniac, no host hat. That'd be awesome. That wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be, but here we go. The last fight of the game, and we just do insane damage. Like this right here, like I understand how somebody might feel like that right there wasn't fun, but it's fun to see how like much you can just destroy an enemy, and we just destroyed Blue Baby to get our 26th win in a row as Eden. So if you guys did enjoy that episode, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps out my channel and it will help me just get bigger and bigger. We're, all, we're already almost at 20, 21,000 subscribers, which is insane. If we keep this pace up for the rest of the year, I could hit 22,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So stick with me. I'll always be here making streaming and streaming, making content, whatever words I was trying to say. But anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. So as always, guys, it's in Freets. Peace out. Bye.